Hello my beauties, it's gonna be blah blah club with updates, you know, on, on personal stuff, on Tinder Wonders 2 as well. This one, by the way, is the most original so far invitation on a date that I received from a guy, from TikTok. I just started to, you know, to post regularly on TikTok and boom, <laughs> invitation on a date from a guy. Uh, and he really put an effort like, oh, you study in symbolism, you into sacral geometry, like, have you read this book? And I was sort of, no. Uh, and he found in Russian and sent it to me. That's so like, you know, th th that's how you should invite me on a date. <laughs> uh, I appreciate the effort. And for me, that's, that's really impressive because like, wow, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this at all. Like th that's that's wonderful, and I'm very intrigued. I will be sharing. I will be sharing. You know, um, my insights based on this book about ornaments and everything. I I feel so excited, girls, to read it. I already started, by the way. So update, uh, Lolo. Um, it looks like Lolo is still somewhere there, low key. Lolo, what is going on? Yesterday, late night, evening, I'm receiving a friend request on one of the social media from a go with a very unique name. And what the chances uh, with go with this name, uh, I go to gym and we intersect there from time to time. So yesterday, late night, and I was already sleepy, you know, and I, I thought, okay, let, let me sleep and I will ask her tomorrow in the gym. And I did. I came today to a gym, she was there, and I asked her, and she's having a very unique, very rare Russian name, rare one, really rare. So if it was like some, some type of spammer creating random accounts, <laughs> and her picture using, what the chances? And with this going nowhere else, like uh, friends on social media, nowhere else. So we only communicate in WhatsApp, and I decided her to ask, I decided to ask her today. I, I thought maybe she registered there and, and she found me like from contacts. Yeah. I asked her, look, this and that name. Is it your account? And I opened and showed her. She said, no, no, Katya, I don't know. And she was shocked herself. Like she asked me to complain this account who stolen her picture. I, I found it odd, you know, like I, I found it really odd. Maybe coincidence. Yeah. But I'm just documenting all weird coincidences that happening recently. And another one um, on Twitter, on Twitter uh, mental copy of Lolo. Uh, I don't even know what to think, because if I will think that this is Lolo, um, the level of his obsession then skyrocketing. S skyrocketing and for me it's unbelievable that someone can be that obsessed with someone else. Uh, if it's not Lolo, that's sad as well, because it shows then then it shows mentality of, of people. Then it shows mentality, and this is sad to see more and more representatives of this mentality. Uh, what, what agenda they pushing on you? Um, that that's really crazy. That's really scary and insane. Really, 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 really goes. It's it's freaking insane. And all started this account. All started. Ah, by the way, account subscribed to Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, one of Lolo accounts that uh, using his uh, real uh, so, so name and name. They subscribed to Cristiano Ronaldo as well, and subscribed to Andrew Tate. Or maybe that they favorite like characters. I don't know. Uh, it gave me like strong, you know, smell and flashbacks of Lolo. Uh, but maybe that's a different person, that's, that's someone else. But if it's someone else, it's actually scary. Uh, because it's okay when a man like 1000 people you, you meet in one maniac, one insane person, one psychopath. Uh, and it's completely different scene when among 100 people you meet in 10 of them, you know. So this is scary trend, and this person started to like, ah, cr criticizing my nose. Lolo did it with such a great pleasure, like oh, you need a nose job, 
I'm happy with my nose. For me, it's perfect shape. I love my nose. I, I'm, I think that God is the best designer. And God designed me the, just exactly the way he wants. You know, I love my nose. So whatever Lolo thinks, he, he can leave it to himself. Uh, but it started with critics. You know, the, it, it's, they have nothing else to criticize. They started with appearances. Dude, you're not even using your avatar. You, you're using some nature picture. Mm, but uh, this one said like to me, mm, I'm not ugly like you. I'm beautiful as fuck. <laughs> I was like laughing. <laughs> because the only one person that narcissistically in love with himself is only Lola. Even computer genius, when we were chatting with computer genius, he was not making emphasis on oh, I'm handsome, uh, ha handsome, I I'm fucking beautiful. I'm this only Lolo, only Lolo. Th that's only Lolo, Lolo. I can walk barefoot on the street. All women will be mine. Like, what's the problem? Go walk, go try. Like Lady, G Lady Godiva. You know, you will be next Lady Godiva, Lolo. So. A strong flashback, even not computer genius, because with computer genius, he was making emphasis that he is that honest, that he's very religious, that, uh, that, that he's like um, very, uh, you know, having these values as honesty, dignity, etc., etc., etc. I can't recall that computer genius would make emphasis that, look, I'm beautiful as fuck, or something like this. No. <laughs> this is not this is not something that I remember. I more remembered how he was making emphasis how smart he is. This emphasis I, I remember and, and how the rest of the people they are fools, they are stupid, they are uh, he was making emphasis that he's extremely smart, literally genius, yeah. So uh here we go about Lolo. All our communication emphasis was I'm fucking beautiful. I'm 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 handsome. I'm not the ugly. Why are you pushing me away, you stupid bitch? You know, like I, I'm your last ticket to paradise or something. Uh, this paradise sound like ah uh, he he promised what many many times multi orgasms. <coughs> you know we should ask his his uh, wife. <laughs> you know <laughs> if I knew that he's married I would. I would tell him, look, dude, just to make a prank of him, okay? Uh, now, because some of you with perverted minds, you, you may twist my words. I would ask him, dude, look, give me a number of your wife. I want to review. I want to feedback, you know, on <laughs> no, no, your bullshit. So here we go. Only Lolo was this, I'm, I'm beautiful as fuck. <laughs> like when I was reading this today I, and I was in gyms this time, I was on, on thread meal with this a friend of mine next to me and I was showing her his tweets like, look, look, look. <laughs> and she was laughing as well. Uh, we were like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Which man gonna say something like this about himself and criticize as a woman? And who knows? Uh, he kept doing this, like, um, another, what he started to push on me, this agenda, that I'm Jewish, when in fact in me, that many blood mixed, yeah, um, that it, it will take entire evening for me to tell you the family story, but my culture and ethnicity, how I identify myself is Slavic. Because my uh, grandparents, yeah, my, my parents, they already adapted. They were growing up during USSR time uh, when there was no division like, oh, you Belarusian, you Ukrainian, you Russian. All of us were Slavic people. And this is the spirit, no division, yeah? And in this Slavic value, Slavic culture, I grew up with it in my milk, you know? I grew up, and uh, but this jerk started to push on me, crazy agenda. So, girls, there is second part to this, second part to um, dialogue that, that took place on Twitter. Uh, this guy, okay, he, he started, you're social, you're on social media because your life is miserable, you idiot, you very upset, you on social media just to escape real world. And I was sort of like, are you cooked? Uh, people makes money on social media. 
People buys from people and all your potential customers, they are there on social media. Uh, even when I was managing South Lamps store, we had social media. We were buying advertisement. We were buying articles uh, from different beauty bloggers because you must to be on social media. You must be on social media. How else are you supposed to, to find clients, you know? So for me, social media is, is, is a job. I go, I post videos. I go, I post something. I comment something triggering so people, they check my account. And it works in, on Twitter, by the way, it works much better than hashtag. They check my, they, they see something triggering that I comment, yeah? They check my account. If they resonate with me, with my energy, with my views, I'm getting a customer. Uh, I don't know what he doesn't understand, but he, he started just exactly similar projection as Lolo. You have 600 followers, you must feel important. Are you cooked? It's not about number of followers, like. It's about sales, like. It's about sales of my services, my product, my stuff, like. What what you were like talking about, like? Another real world inhabitant, he would be poor as uh, this one, George Mice, Andrew Tate. He's all over social media, and he claims to to live in the real world. If person is on. Social media, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that they have no life besides social media. It doesn't mean this. And if I was there for my personal sick agenda, I wouldn't be using my avatar. I wouldn't be using my credentials so people can come, see me, build trust with me, certain trust level, yeah? And maybe book some services from me. Or maybe buy my book. This is happening, by the way. And I was like, exactly the same words. Like, oh, you, you have that much followers. You must feel so important. Like, what? What? Followers does not decide any freaking thing. In my paradigm. And there is no correlation between followers number and sales number. You may have millions of followers, but... No one will be buying from you because you're not credible enough. So it depends as well. Oh, when I was reading this, another sick projection like, oh, I'm beautiful as fuck. I live in the real world. Your nose is ugly. You know, it's all like Lolo ch checklist, uh, his childish behaviors. Yeah. But the cherry on top and the most disgusting was when, when he started to throw at me this Jewish newborn, like, he called me uh, children private parts sucker and connected this to, to Jewish tradition of when they male, male babies, they chop chop, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, put it in English even. But this is so much clearly not, not a part of my tradition, not a part of my culture. And he was asking if I'm, if I'm condemning this, yeah. And yes, I'm condemning this. I, I found this sort of like, I still hadn't found, by the way, because it's not my tradition, not my culture. And maybe some of you Jewish watching me and you know better, yeah, because it's your tradition culture. But from what I seen from pictures he sent to me, yeah, I, I found like a weird. And I, I wouldn't like um, my baby go through um, this religious uh, cultural thing, okay? Uh, because I found it like a little bit disturbing. But... Uh, that was the very first time in my life when I learned actually about that this exists. You know, that this exists. And this reminds me of Lolo because he was arrested with, uh, what, child pornography? That was like child porno pornography case, yeah. Something like this they, they found in his home. 
and I was like, you a sick human being, like, I, I live that much years already in the world, and I'm not aware of this tradition, what does it mean, and I have Jewish friends, and not one person, you know, few people, uh, and never ever uh, I heard about this tradition from them, never ever, uh, this means no one, no one forced me to follow their religion, their tradition, no one called me names, no one tried to stab me, no one tried to choke me, no one humiliated my beliefs, none of my Jewish friends said like, ah, oh, what you believe is a crap, none of them, none of them like were like, ah, oh, infidel, you know, any of them, and I was shocked like, Wait a moment, what are you showing me around these pictures? Like, I, I was really, really shocked. Like, oh, wow. Uh, definitely, I don't like this. But what I like is that those people who stick to their traditions, and these traditions, me, myself, I, um, I found it barbaric and disturbing. Again, only based on what i seen on the picture. But again, you, you can... A picture in different ways remember and I don't know what's behind I still hadn't googled it properly because I don't even know how, how to google it properly uh, but I will do research I will do research maybe some of my friends will help me I'm, I'm, I'm waiting actually for their replies here yeah? well, what they gonna comment on this tradition and uh, I, 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 how much common is this in their society in their culture or maybe it's something you know the 10 percent of families only practicing this could be as well a case uh but when i say this and he kept pushing on me this sick agenda i told him many many times that i'm not jewish but this delulu uh kept pushing and and uh, in his uh, final message, there was like, you must be burned on a stake, your child uh, genitalia sucker. And again, on all pictures that he sent me on Twitter, it was male baby and male like rabbin, yeah? No females. How his in sick perverted mind that is researching all this dirt and disgust yeah that i'm living already so many years on earth i i never knew about this yeah how his perverted fucking sick mind even able to connect this to me and project this on me like i i found this really disturbing and disgusting and it was all in cups lock, you know, literally like yelling. And I remember how Lolo was raising his voice and few times I said him look lower, lower. But now knowing his age that he is 48, in fact, maybe he's having already hearing problems, you know. I feel like more sympathetic towards him because like maybe a dude already old he's having hearing problems. So that's why he was like very loud. But I was making him like, can, can you please speak like few tones less, yeah? Uh, for me, this is on one hand, if it's Lolo, obsession, one, one million. If it's not a Lolo, it's scary because so many people have an identical mindset. That's scary. They all acting like as a, as a clone, you know? <laughs> 